we are going to talk Newcastle. Well, it, it, Gal joined us. You predicted this. No, he didn't. On the top of the show. Talk to me about what went wrong for Chelsea today and, and why Newcastle were able to smash them. You want to know something? Everything was leaning towards, before the game, was leaning towards Chelsea was supposed to win this game. They were supposed to be the favourites going into this game. You got Newcastle had all these injuries. They just came off losing against Bournemouth. Chelsea had a great performance versus uh, versus City where they where they scored four goals. They drew against the top team. They had a win against uh, Tottenham. They were going in the right direction. And then it was just written in the stars, I felt like. I always had a feeling that Newcastle were going to get something from this game. Yesterday, after speaking speaking to Alex, I was like, you know what? Maybe Chelsea have more of a chance than I thought. He kind of convinced me. But then I was reassured by that performance in the second half. Because in the first half, you guys showed same old Chelsea where you couldn't finish your dinner. You had opportunities, in my opinion, where you could have capitalized, but you, you were unable to do that. And then in the second half, it was damage limitations. Once they scored the second goal, I knew you guys were never going to get back into this game. Then they scored the third. And I was like, you know what? This game is even more done. Then you get the red card. And it's just at that point, it was just going to become an embarrassing scoreline. You're lucky you kept it to four. But overall, I am not surprised, Terry. This Chelsea team is going to, is, is very young. They have a lot of players that are inexperienced. And they're going to be ups and downs throughout their season. And you're not going to see consistency from them at all. The performance against the, the top teams, what I put it down to, my my hypothesis has been proven right. It's when they play against the top teams, they one, they're more up for it. And two, it's it, there's more space. There's more opportunities to create chances. There's more opportunities to actually have more space against one-on-one defenders where Newcastle today, even though they're not the team that plays the most defensive setup, they they were more focused on making sure that they didn't make too many mistakes. And when they capitalized, they countered and they're clinical with their finishing. You gotta give you gotta give them credit. But one more thing I'm gonna say. Enzo Fernandez has to be the luckiest player or in your team because he's avoid of all criticism. He gets he's a hundred million pound signing, doesn't get treated like one. He's a player who doesn't get you goals, doesn't get you assists, doesn't actually play make, doesn't do anything in your side, but yet it's still treated as if he's the best player in the world. Okay, okay, okay. I'll wait for this. I'll wait for this. Is that the guy who defends Havertz? Is that the guy who defends Havertz? This might not be. This might not be the game. Exactly. Finish, please. This might not be the game to point him out, but you have a hundred million pound player who you brought into your team and is unable to carry your side at all, unable to get you goals, unable to get you assists, unable to control your game against a Newcastle side that's physically uh, dominant to you guys. And when it comes to when it comes to what he what he does, guess what? He's a void of criticism. Your fans still say he's the best player, he's the best midfielder, he's the best this, he's the best that. Oh, but what does he was. actually do? He doesn't get you goals, he doesn't get you assists, he doesn't create, he doesn't play make, he doesn't defend. What is he good at? At the end of the day, he's this 100 million pound player you guys got, one of the best players in the midfield you guys are seeing every single week, but he's getting outperformed by Conor Gallagher, who you criticize every week. Oh, he's, he's, oh, okay, he's so he doesn't he doesn't do anything. Let me just read out a few, let me just read out a few stats from the end of the first half because like I said earlier, Enzo was our best player. It's, it's Enzo Fernandez registered more successful. Swear, man. Enzo, Enzo Fernandez registered more successful passes than anyone, more successful long balls than anyone, more successful interceptions. You just said he doesn't do anything defensively. Then anyone in that first half, right? So what are you actually watching? Because Enzo yeah, was actually good in that first half. Analysis, Enzo was bro. good in that first half. You're, you're, coming, you're coming for the worst. You're coming from the worst. Per- John, John, the worst I want to ask you a question. Right follow up to that. Yeah, David. One second. Egal. So was every single Chelsea player good today? And was Enzo the standout bad performer? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm I'm putting him out. So, 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 if your answer is no, if your answer is no, pause. If your answer is no, why are you talking about Enzo Fernandez right now? Then? Because because he, this is my because, point. Because of his price tag. Because, what you're saying. because yeah. when you have a hundred million pound player, he's held to a different standard. He's supposed to be. He's supposed to be. Hold on, be, hold on. Hold on. He's supposed to be the level ready. He's supposed to be a hundred million pound signing who comes into that midfield and helps you guys win these games, dominate these games, and pushes you to the next level. But guess what? Since he's come in, he has been unable to be that game changer for you guys. Conor yeah, Gallagher is more of a team. game changer for you guys, week in, week out, than he is. What is he? And he's a void of criticism. You well, guys, no, 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 no. Enzo Fernandez has the best job in the Premier League. He doesn't get criticized by any of his players. He doesn't get criti- he doesn't yeah, get blamed for any loss. Got, also this, also this, got, what's, what's Enzo's role? He has the best job in the Premier League. A what's Enzo's role in our midfield? No, no, no. What's Enzo's role in our midfield, Egal? You tell me what Enzo's what we bought Enzo for. What is his role in no, our midfield? No, you tell me you're a Chelsea fan. No, 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 no. no because you, you 
You said he doesn't do anything. You, t- you tell us what his Bro, role is. You tell my us point is, is. My point is, after every single loss, never do you guys ever criticize Enzo Fernandez and point out the fact that he is Can in your midfield for almost done. a year and has let not brought go. nothing to the team. Let me go. Wait, hold on, hold on. Alex, before you come in, before you come in, Alex, before you come in, yeah, hold on, Igal. First of all, you can't explain or describe what Enzo Fernandez his role in his team is and second of all you're coming here saying oh Enzo should be getting the blame for what Jackson missing missing um open goals he should be getting the blame for Sterling missing multiple chances you should get the blame for Gallagher missing open goals as well yeah is who's that what you're trying to do player? you're, tra- you're trying what do you mean who's up Enzo player? Enzo was today look at the freaking Enzo, rating Enzo, today Enzo was our best player today and we've all as everyone here as a Chelsea fan collectively have said Enzo's been below par right but it's very very weird for you to try to pick out Enzo today because he was one of our better players today everyone was poor Enzo was good today, in my opinion. You hear the Especially first thing that I said half. that came out of my mouth. The What's reason that? why I brought it up, the reason why I brought it up is because how long are we going to say that Enzo Fernandez is the best midfielder in the world? He does this, he does that. He's not even the best This is is Kardashian. This is a typical move of Kardashian. Moving from chick to chick. You know, like show this bums like he comes like maybe this game is not to criticize Enzo. So why are you bringing him up then? This because, is no, because no, no, I just wanted no, to make no, I, you just second, said it. You I just said it was, the first sentence. Uh, one second, you, I thought no, this was a, second. Where we're talking about Chelsea. You right? said the first sentence. Maybe this is not the game to criticize Enzo. One second, you did Can say you that. Him. Why <laughs> are you're you neutral here. Him You don't support up. Chelsea. Be honest. Does Enzo Fernandez not have the best job in the Premier League where he is a void of oh, criticism? I wish I had the job. been criticized all season by our own fan base. Create. He doesn't have to do... He doesn't get blamed for being the defensive uh, uh, defender in the midfield. He doesn't get blamed for being the creative midfielder. He doesn't get blamed for not producing GA. He doesn't get blamed if they win or lose. He gets all the criticism when they win and he gets no criticism when they lose. At the end he of the day, it. this is the guy about, who is your best, who's supposed oh, to be your best. You cannot the, carry your team. Mushrooms. He There's is a mushroom. You need to stop eating them. Enzo has literally been catching corn weekly from the fan base, bro. He's okay. been holding it weekly, pulls from the fan base. Yeah, everyone's been getting onto him because we all know that he's been below par. Yeah, let's leave it out. I just want to ask you a simple question. Oh, and it's and I'm only going to use him as an example because of price tags, okay. Are Arsenal dramatically better this season, yes or no? No, we haven't been better, but we're is yes, that, we might is, go top is of the league. That Declan Rice's fault. What? No, Declan Rice has been our best player. No, no, no. Is, is, he's is, won us games. He produced no, 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 no. <laughs> My point is, Igal, is that you've just said you you aren't you aren't better as a team, be, even though Declan Rice has come in as a hundred mil and been your best player, right? You're not better as a team. My point is, is that because you have successful results, Declan Rice looks a lot better compared to Enzo. Enzo is Enzo's issue is that currently he's playing in a team where the results can't back up his performances. So Enzo will have good games, but because Chelsea have lost four one, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they, you know how. My point is that the, the environment Enzo's come into I makes him a on lot that. worse. Hundred million pound signing. Than Declan Rice does, even though I would argue Enzo Fernandez in our yeah, midfield is by yeah. far our best midfielder. Quite and you're just proving my point. I I know, I want to, I want to. This is why people said if Chelsea don't perform, they think Enzo will leave because they actually think that Enzo's a good player and that if Chelsea continue in this mid table ish form ne- this season, next season, people actually think we'll push for a move. Why are they saying that? It's because he's a good player in a very poor team. So no one's saying Enzo today is alleviated of any blame. But so you to bring him up and gaslight the Chelsea fans like you do week in, week out, Reese James debate, all this crap. Would you over take one him at Arsenal? Would you take I gotta him go. Arsenal? I'm gonna go watch hey, my team win and go right. top of the league. Wait, wait, not this way. You want to be a bottle of the best. Right Terry, Terry, KJ Clifton. Enzo Fernandez has the best job in the Premier League, avoid of all criticism. No, Arteta has the best time manager use it. Somebody else's fault. It's not exactly Arteta has the best manager. Arteta's got the best role in goal. And guess what? He's not yeah. treated like what he is. He's supposed to be your best player. He's supposed to be I a hundred million pound player. I appreciate well, you coming on, Gal. Thank you very much indeed. Um, <clears throat> look, we, we...